When you're designing your schema, there are some specialized data types you may find useful. In this lesson, we'll discuss the time TZ, timestamp TZ, bytes, string n, and decimal data types, and their use cases. These data types have some implementation details we'd like you to be aware of. CockroachDB has a number of time-related data types that make dealing with time zones easier. The time data type stores the time of day in UTC. Time TZ is expressed with an offset to a time value. Timestamp presents a date or date and time value in UTC. Timestamp TZ converts timestamp values from UTC to the client's time zone. It does not store any time zone data. Bytes is a data type that stores binary strings of variable lengths. Bytes can be used to store the raw data of files, such as the data that makes up an image. It can be stored in many formats. It's recommended to keep values under 1 megabyte to ensure performance. In CockroachDB, VerCareN is an alias for the string n data type. To limit the length of a string column, use string n, where n is the maximum number of Unicode points or characters allowed. For example, you could limit the length of a postal code column. The decimal data type stores exact fixed point numbers. This is particularly useful when it's important to preserve exact precision, like with monetary data. When creating a decimal column, you can specify the precision, which is the maximum count of total digits in a number, and you can specify the scale, which is the exact count of digits to the right of the decimal point. Let's review. Specialized data types like the time TZ and timestamp TZ data types that take into consideration time zones are useful when creating your schema. The bytes data type is useful for storing the binary information of files, such as images. The string n and decimal data types are useful when you want to ensure that writes align to your expectations as a developer. For additional information, check the CockroachDB docs. Thanks for watching. You can look for more videos on our channel or head on over to university.cockroachlabs.com.